Coming to you live from the Bradley Center in Milwaukee, it's the Milwaukee Bucks and the New Jersey Nets. Hi, everybody. I'm Marv Alvin along with Steve Kerr. All right, Steve, what's the game plan here for the Bucks tonight? Well, a big concern when you play against this team, Marv, is defending Richard Jefferson. He's a very good all-around player. Shoots the ball extremely well, close to 50% for his career. But so explosive off the dribble. And, and that outside shot, I think we would agree, has come a long way since uh, coming out of the collegiate ranks. They're ready to go. Kid looking over to the bench. Accelerates. Slotted away. Red gets inside, and Michael Red will put it home. But here's Red. You can't give up easy hoops like that, Mar. Way too lazy on the inbounds pass leads to the easy deuce. And he puts it down. Terrific job in the open floor, Mar, creating an easy basket, and they're really trying to push the tempo here in the first half. Jefferson trying to stay in front of him. Here's Simmons, and Bobby Simmons able to hit. Delivery to Carter. Kidd takes to the rim, and Earl Boykins called for the foul. That's his first. Kidd, of course, has spent time with Dallas, Phoenix, and New Jersey, and really one of the best point guards the NBA has ever seen. A very unique player. So strong and fast, can use either hand and loves to pass the ball. One of the top assist men in league history. Looks like they're in a zone now, Mark, trying to cover up that paint area. Kid giving no room. Here's the double. Left in the first quarter. Boykins now running the offense. Nice entry pass. Looks like they're going to switch into a zone, Marv. They've been playing man-to-man -man most of the way, but this is an opportunity to try to disrupt the offensive flow. What great body control to be able to complete that play even while drawing the foul. So that's a three-point play. Changing defenses is an important way of disrupting the flow of the offense, Mark. They're going to go back to a man here. Delivery to Carter. Here's Carter. Vince Carter. Mark, great opportunity for a two-for-one here. If they can get a quick shot, they should be able to get another possession at the end of the quarter. player he is more of a terrific athletic play Boykins moving to the front court two second differential between the game clock and the shot clock Jefferson wide open well he had numbers in transition I thought he could have gotten a layup and really settled for a poor shot boom trying to stay in front of him good job by Jefferson delivery to Bogan and they clear it out. Off the mark. Boy, we've seen him make that shot so often from that spot. That, that's one of the areas on the floor that he just loves. Even with the defense all over him, he's able to drain it. The first quarter comes to an end. The Bucks trail by one. I want to give it up for the brother. Give it up for the brother. Give it up for the brother. Running from the dog.
Wow, look at that assist to field goal ratio. That's exactly what coaches want to see. So both clubs have played solid basketball. No, you're right, Marv. The offensive execution has been terrific. Both teams getting out in transition and moving the ball. They're really setting solid screens. And we've seen a lot of wide open looks out here. Pretty entertaining first quarter. Jefferson looking for the opening. Not able to hit the three. Marv, that's a good shot if you're going for the scoring championship, but not a good one if you're trying to win a game. A minute and a half remaining in the quarter. New Jersey down by three. It is deflected. Jefferson finds the room. That's excellent defense there, Marv. The help comes over and contests the shot and forces that miss. The Bucks will get it back. Milwaukee ball. Red kicks it back out, and Earl Boykins not able to hit from downtown. Well, as a coach, I mean, that's what you want. You want to get players in areas where they're comfortable. And, you know, guys that talented and that good, they're going to make a high percentage of those shots. One minute remaining in the second and a foul is called. Boykins posting up. Jumper off the mark. Great defense here, Marv, forcing a very difficult attempt. Yes. Well, you've got to give your rebounder a lane for an outlet pass, Marv. They did so there. That led to the advantage at the other end. Boykins fires one up. And Earl Boykins able to knock it down. He can make that one in his sleep, Marvin. That, that's his comfort zone. And I don't care what you do defensively. If he gets in that spot, He's going to make that nine times out of ten. And Lawrence Frank takes a timeout. Here come the Bucks. Four second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. And stuffs. A close game here early on. So this club. Trying to force the issue, get out, and get some easy buckets. And Jason Kidd Jason right Kidd. back. Steve, when Jason Kidd first came into the NBA, there were major questions about that shooting touch. Well, that's why they called him Asim. Bar, remember, there, there was no J. Oh, that, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling the truth. But he's come a long way with that shot. He has. He's made a lot of improvement, and now they call him Jason. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's <laughs> <how we're... laughs> The score is tied at the end of the second quarter. 